We've got a new addition to the pig farm. Let's see if it pays off. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Lone Oak. I hope you guys are rocking and rolling and having a great day. Today we have got to get these pigs worked on. I have, well, pretty much ignored them. Uh, give me honest with you, I've ignored them a little bit. Oh, come on, don't pour that on the ground. Stop it, you dummy. I need a better bucket. This thing stinks, especially for all of the, uh, all the stuff that we've got. I gotta get it, like, right here, and then it'll work. There we go. So what is this new thing that we've got? Well, I got a pig food silo. I was thinking, I was like, you know, for what it's gonna cost us to get, and for how much we can actually get out of it, I don't know if it's going to be cheaper to do it that way, but I'm certainly going to give it a try and see. Maybe we'll be able to do it cheaper. I don't know. I do have our semi truck. You guys can see that in the back. Uh, we got that. We're going to see if, <clears throat> well, we're going to see if we're going to get anything or if it's going to be a waste of money. Another thing we need to be looking at and taking a look into is manure. So it's, uh, well, we're getting a little bit. And it's starting to come out the sides, which ain't a big problem, but it, you know it is what it is. So I'm thinking maybe a little glitchy going on. I don't know what's going on over there. But we need to take a look at that and see, okay, let's go ahead and get manure out. Let's get it into vehicles. Let's get it into, you know, buckets or whatever and take it over. Get it in the silo and at least get it put away for now. Oh boy. All right. It's your turn. Let's fill you up. The hardest part about this is actually just gonna be getting this under there. I think I can do it from right here. Let's see, can we make it happen? Maybe not. <laughs> no, no we can't. Come on DJ, you could do it man. Just save it, save it. Couldn't save it. <laughs> man, I stink. <laughs> also, somebody was asking in the last video why I have not cleaned this thing up. You gotta know by now, I love having dirty trucks and tractors. I think they look awesome, they look used, they look done up and stuff like that. Um, and I just think it looks great. And I know that with it being dirty, it makes the, the it go down. Don't care, let it happen. Pig food, here's, okay, big problem. I don't know how expensive this is gonna be. Um, you would assume like to fill up one of these, uh, it was a 15, 20, it's like, Around, I say around seventy thousand dollars to fill this guy up. Um, hopefully, it's less than that. I don't, I don't actually know what it's gonna be like. It looks like it's way less, which is good. Now it's filling up super, super slow, so that's another thing as well. But normally in this situation, I would just kind of cheat in the, cheat in the pig food. I'm not gonna be doing that. This uh, this series is not about cheating. But we do have some fun. We use some crazy mods and enjoy ourselves, but we don't cheat any money in. Uh, that was, again, that was one of the big things that we said when we started this series. So let's get this guy filled up. Uh, looks like right now at about 20,000 liters, we have spent less than $15,000. So there it is right there. So we've got 23,000 liters for $15,000. The price on this? very good all right coming up on it now what are we gonna be getting Forty-eight thousand, so forty-nine thousand for seventy thousand liters of pig food okay i would say that is pretty darn good that is a great price i'm very happy with that uh, and that mod right there that is for all platforms by the way i actually saw that mod on one of silly peas videos uh a little time ago not too long ago though and i was like you know what it's gonna be perfect. So, we got it. Let's get this backed up at least kind of close-ish. Dump this out. Of course, it's gonna dump out really fast, and we're just gonna kind of keep an eye on the food. Problem is, we need a bunch of food. I mean, a bunch of food in order to keep these guys going. So, yeah, we're... <laughs> I'm not gonna be feeding... Man, pigs are expensive. Why'd you guys let me do this? You know what? The next crop set... We're gonna get all the crops, corn, wheat or barley, soybeans, canola or sunflowers, potatoes, sugar beets, I don't care. The next crop rotation, we're making pig food, man. One more load to get these guys going and I have picked out 
exactly what we are going to be doing. So corn, wheat, canola, and sugar beets. Those are the, th the crops that we're going to be rocking and rolling. And here's where we're going to put them. So we are going to take canola. I think everything's been harvested. Yeah, everything's been harvested. Uh, we are going to, well, see, canola. Yeah, we probably do corn in this one. I think corn would look really cool. Let's do that. Corn in 33 and 28, one humongo field. Over here, we're going to do a uh, double crop, actually, in this one field by itself. Uh, so we're going to do uh, wheat over here in 41. And then in this one, we're going to do canola at about like here-ish. So we're going to take some of the field, a field about the same size as 41. We're going to do that, and then we're going to skip a row, and then we're going to do sugar beets downside. Now, we may do sugar beets down here. Not really sure there. We could also buy another field and do sugar beets in another field completely, but I think it would be cool to do more than one crop in the same field. So that is exactly what we are going to be going for here. Of course, we need to dump the pig food. Come on, man. <laughs> so you know what? Let's get that ready. But before we do anything else, we've got to get straw over here. We've got to get water over here. And on top of that, I believe our cows need some of that too. Let's take a look and see. Nope, because the cows are great. They need a little bit of TMR, but they're good to go at least for right now. So we're not even going to worry about it. Let's get the straw over here. Let's get water over here. We're going to make both those things happen. And then it's going to be time to put stuff in the ground. Straw is going in and the water. Now, there are a few things when you're doing animals that you just sometimes forget. And one of those things for me is milk. I often run into the milk. I often forget that we have milk. Not only that, I'm 98,000 liters of milk. And not only that, milk is going for $1,600 per thousand liters right now at Hollister stores. What does that mean, DJ? That means that we're about to get rich off of milk. Uh, that is well over a 100, that's about $150,000 that's just sitting hanging out that we could be selling and i've totally forgot about it totally forgot about the milk so that's exactly what we're gonna do here we're gonna get this milk sold and on top of that we may be able to afford another field to get all of the extra crops in uh so here's uh here's a couple things that i'm looking at be honest with you all the fields around here kind of open themselves up to being used as fields for uh for doing pig food for example 27 is perfect for using for sugar beets. You get about as many as you need to off that one field. Field 18 and 17, perfect for your normal crops. Field 26, that is absolutely ideal for doing corn in. The, the size of them is all about right. But we're not going to go that route. Instead, I've been looking at a few other fields. Field 40, for example. Field 42, we haven't been in field 42 since we started. Problem is, it's expensive. It's 432 grand. Why? Why is it that expensive? It's crazy shapes. Uh, so there are a couple fields around that we could possibly jump into. Uh, but to be honest with you, I, yes, they all open themselves up to be used for different crops and everything like that. I just don't think that the price for this one is worth justifying yet it's not easy to, to do that field right there heck the one in front of us right now we could prop that one up easy but we've got to save our money at least right now we need to save our money and <laughs> talk about it. like yo we need to do this i'm like eh. hindsight hindsight's 2020 unfortunately my hindsight pops in real soon rolling up into hollister stores let's <laughs> come on <laughs> i hit everything of course i hit everything Bring this about right here. Now, this is going to unload pretty darn fast, but we're going to be getting our monies back from doing the uh, pig food plus a little bit extra. Oh, yeah. Check that out. We're now up. That was $161,000 sell right there. So now we're up to $580,000. I think that should be more than enough to be able to buy seed and fertilizer to get some crops in the ground. Oh, yeah. I need a planter. I've got cedars. I have two of those. I don't have a planter. You know what? Let's buy a nice planter. So what are we going to be getting? Well, I actually have a modded version that matches the other stuff that we've got in here. This right here, the Maestro SW2475 modded. This is the one that I put together. And we could do 
corn, soybeans, sunflowers. We can even do a uh, sugar beet, which is perfect because we need that for sugar beet and for doing corn. We don't have one for either one. Plus, we could do cotton if we ever want to go into that direction. So, I say we buy. Boom, boom. We got it. That was another one. Where'd that voice come from? <laughs> That's definitely not me. All right. Before we get that, we've got some decent prices for straw right now. And since we've got an update to the Adorante pack, figured, well, what a better time than to use it to sell the bales. So we've got a good price for the uh, square bales. It's not amazing. Now, don't, don't get wrong here. It's not an amazing price, but it's at least something that's better than it was. And it's right here. We went too far. And guess what? We can now unload the bales. Naturally, they don't go any lower than that. Come on, guys. I mean, wow. Oh, okay. Um, well, they'll go really high in the air, won't they? Um, that's, that's not where they go. <laughs> Let's just drop them right there. There we go. What do we get? 80, oh, holy cow. $87,000 for those bells right there? What? Oh, yeah, they're 50,000 liters each. No wonder. Okay, let's put it back into operating mode here. And let's pick up a couple more. And we don't have a full load here, but we've got a few. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. And bring it back around. Now, does it recognize the last place it was unloading? No, I think that was an update with the last uh, last update for Farm Sam. I think it did something like that. I'm not really sure what was going on. So let's do this again. Let's bring them over. Drop them. 29,000 for those. Dude, we're back over 520,000. <laughs> we're above where we were when we started. And we've bought so much stuff. Let's get this trailer sent back. There we go. Holy cow. There's so much going on right now that I'm so happy about. Oh, I totally forgot. Um, the the corn planter is not a direct drill because we don't. Well, we've got one in game, but not <clears throat> not like I want to use. So we're gonna need to cultivate as well. Amazing. And on top of that, we've actually got to do a pickup real quick. I've totally forgot. It's been like three episodes ago now since we did this grass. Maybe even four. Uh, like, this episode's coming out on Sunday. And I'm pretty sure we cut this on, like, Tuesday. Something like that. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we cut this a while back. So let's just go through. Let's pick all the grass up. Let's put it in the silo. Whatever's left, I'm just going to dump it in the barn. I'm not going to be completely worried about it. Here we go. Go through. Perfect. Now, you guys have seen me use this before. Uh, also, in our Q&A video that we did yesterday, if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure that you go check that out. It's linked in all of the social medias that I've got. Uh, plus, it is linked in the... Uh, it'll be linked at the end of this video regardless. But <clears throat> make sure you go check that out. I answered a lot of questions that you guys had. Uh, quite a few questions about mods, I think, and questions that you have about mods. Uh, like, will this thing ever come to console? Well... Uh, first, I wouldn't actually be the one that could do that because I don't own this mod. This is just a mod that you could download and then I made it faster and made it to where it would hold more. So, I don't actually own this mod. Yeah, uh, this is super OP from the way the modder actually intended this mod to be. <laughs> oh, imagine that, I made it worse. <laughs> or better, I don't, I don't know. Regardless, oh, we're going in people's fields right there. I need to quit that. Uh, we did also on our community page, we did a thing and said, how many of you guys play realistically? How many of you say whatever's whatever? And like 60% of you guys put realistic. And that would probably explain why so many people are saying, DJ, what are you doing? Get out of their field. Why don't I ever play realistic? So I will do my best to avoid doing some things. Using different mods, nah, that's never going to change. But doing things in game like driving in other people's fields uh that's something that i definitely need to work on hey another question what are things that you think i need to work on how about that let's let's ask that question so we've got a really good amount of grass off of this uh 50 58 no 586 thousand liters that is a really really good amount right there boom good oh yeah emptied out real good to go now what's next well I've got our planter over here already, so we've got that, but 
I need to also get a cultivator so that we can start getting the ground cultivated. And I've got to get it done pretty fast. Plus, we've got to get planting started in other fields. So, I'm at the point right now where I'm saying to myself, I need another tractor. Like, bad. I need another tractor. I need a big tractor. And I need a cultivator. And a lot of seed and fertilizer. <laughs> so, we are going to take a look because we are at that point. We're at the point now. We need bigger stuff. Um, we need bigger stuff. We need more stuff. We need more. More is definitely what we need. Let's take a look. I've got an idea of what I want to go with because this is something that we don't have. Uh, we've got a smaller version, but we don't have one of these. This is the Axia. This is the big B. Uh, let's see. Let's stick on the big engine. 445 horsepower. I believe that is. Yeah, 445 uh, for the biggest one. Now that's 339,000. That would leave us with about 200 grand to spend on seed and fertilizer. And on top of that, we would have, you know, money for, of course, for the cultivator. Though I'm not sure we're going to buy one, but probably need to buy one eventually. So may as well go ahead and do that now. Um, 339,000 for 445. Oh, and what is this? So this is about the same price starting off. Uh, rough, actually, it's a, yeah, it's about the same price. Now, if we go all the way up, we could get... See, I just don't want to have two of these. I think having two of these is ridiculous. Uh, but if we got another one of these with the same engine, uh, if we got it maybe with duels all the way around instead of the other stiff that we've got. Let's see, Trailborg, big duels all the way around. It's $422,000. That leaves us with only $100,000 for a cultivator and seed. Now let's pop in. I want to take a look at cultivators real quick. I don't think I've got any modded ones. Actually, I do, but I don't think they're too crazy. So let's see. The thing is, man, we need a lot of horsepower for a lot of these. Uh, let's see. We go with a horse right here. This requires 500, and it's 12 meters. We have the Bednar. These all require 500. Uh, 18, I mean, if we're going to get one, we may as well just go all the way to the top and get the flex coil, but that's $186,000. I don't like not having a lot of money. <laughs> we could go with a John Deere. Uh, we could also buy a new John Deere. Let's see, this all-rounder, 14 and a half meters, 520 horsepower. You know what? I have an idea. Yes, we're going to get a new tractor. Yes, we're going to get a big one. Oh, yeah. And I think we're going to have to get a decent-sized cultivator as well. What we may do is lease a cultivator this time around, but we're definitely going to have to buy something eventually. So let's do this. Let's go ahead. I know we're going to need it, so let's buy it. Let's get the class Axion. This guy, again, I don't really want to have to go any other direction. Let's go with duels all the way around. We don't have one with duels yet, so this is going to be the one with it. We could go with an agri bumper, but I think it looks silly with that on there. Big engine. And Will Brand, of course, we're just going to stick right there. Could we do just rear twins? I think that looks okay. Doesn't look amazing, but it looks okay. But I think around here, got stuff like this. We're doing this. This is what we're buying. $445,000. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and cultivators, I'm going to lease the Flexicoil. We're not going to buy it. We're going to lease it. It's still going to be $10,000, but... Nonetheless, there we go. So we've got that stuff. Let's get it sent back. Now you're probably saying to yourself, DJ, you don't have enough power. Yes, I do. I do have enough power because this guy right here is not going to be doing what you think it's going to be doing. This is going to be rocking and rolling with the other planter, which it has way more horsepower than it needs to be able to use. Can I get that out of there? I don't even know if I can get this out of here. I'm starting to think maybe duels were such a good idea. This is what we're hooking up to. This is what we're going to be using. Oh, yeah. I don't think we have seed and fertilizer left, though it would be nice to take a look and see if we do. You know what? I'm looking at this thinking duels were the perfect choice. All right. About right here, we have no seeds. Get it right here. Let's see. It's not picking up on fertilizer. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we have no more seeds or fertilizer left. 
Uh, so that's going to be something eventually that we need to jump in. We need to buy some seeds. We need to buy some fertilizer so we can get that in because it is way cheaper than using the buy anything mod, which we're going to have to use today but with all that being said that is going to be it for today we're going to go ahead and start getting the wheat in boom got it it's going in there we go <laughs> forgot where the, the uh, field was so wheat is going in right here uh tomorrow we are going to be starting cultivating and we're going to start getting other crop in the ground as well uh so we will be rocking and rolling tomorrow it is going to be a full operation hey this guy's doing all right this is perfect but with all that being said, hope you guys have a great day. Oh yeah, I didn't do the outro. Uh, if you liked, make sure you do that. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike and let me know what you didn't like about it. Uh, if you have any questions about what we did today or in general, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you guys out. Uh, and with that, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace!